Hello, Ben. How are you? <laughs> I, I miss you, and so much. Really? Yes, I do. You know, I was thinking if we could go see a movie together tonight. Ben, Ben, you've changed. You've changed, though. It is me, your joy, your joy, joy, joy. You still me, oh. Um, it's okay. Yes, that, that, that's fine. That, that's okay. All right. I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> ah, he still loves me. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I need to go get what to wear. I need to find something sexy to put on. Hey, to think that I thought I'd lost him. Hmm. He still loves me. I've got him under here. So, sweetheart, yes. this is Bumi. Bumi is a good friend of mine and a choir member as well in my church. Um, she's a good kitra, so I've brought her here today so that we'll discuss food for our wedding day. I don't want you bringing those people, you know, your cousins that you said. It's fine, Bumi, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. As long as you can work with the budget we have, uh -huh. right? Well, you see, Amaka has told me how big and wonderful the wedding is going to be. And we're expecting a lot of dignitaries. Yes, we are. So, Bumisha's delicious continental dishes will be there to serve you. Okay. We will give you our best. Continental dishes, local dishes, okay. fried rice, just name, Chinese, just name it. We are there to give it to you. That's nice. With my gears in their uniform, you need to see the way they will dress that day. Oh, really? So, um, you know, after everything, we've come to the budget of 2.5 million naira. Yes. To be for, it. for what? What? Two point five million for for what? For the catering service. No. This is a wedding. Do you right? Charles. No, sweetheart. No. Listen. Are we cooking for the entire IDP camp? It's a I'm wedding. I'm tell him about delicious, delicious service. <laughs> So you, you see, things are costly in the market. You know about it. Ah, uh, Bumi, Bumi, yes. Bumi. Six hundred thousand is what we want. We'll have to spend. Okay, deal or no deal. Are you taking it? It's okay. Are you sure you'll be able to work with that? Amaka, I will do anything for you. You know, it's your wedding, and I have to give you. It's, it's my only little contribution towards it. Of course, but you have to give your best. I mean, you come highly recommended by my wife, right? And I'm trusting that you do an excellent job. Like you already said, it's a wedding that would have different people from d different walks of life coming. So I'm expecting that you, you come through with continentals, right? Um, you know, we have African cuisines, we have, um, we have people coming from everywhere. So please, yes, uh, okay. so if I can have those girls that you're, talk you're talking about come through as well, it would be nice. But this time around, can they wear something different? You know, probably a new set of uniform. With 600,000. So, well, yeah, you can walk around it. I'm positive. I uh, have some faith. Huh? It's okay, I'll try my best. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Sweetheart, uh, you want to see her off? Um, thank you very much again. You're welcome. Uh, for agreeing to do this with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? 
Bob. I do. Uh, this wedding thing is not easy. I'm telling you. The caterer just left here now. Charging, charging me almost a million for just food. One, one plate of rice and soft drink. I didn't know this thing is that expensive. I would have just left it at traditional. Hey. <laughs> what are you ever encouraging? Charles, <laughs> why do you like to embarrass me like this? Why? What have I done now? What do you mean by what have you done? Why do you give people the impression that our hands are tied, like we cannot organize this wedding, like we're being forced to do this wedding? I don't understand. You know the money you have given to her is not going to be enough. Oh, you practically put the girl under pressure. What kind of pressure are you talking about? The girl agrees to work with 600,000. She was complaining all the way when I saw her off. Amaka. We're going to have this wedding. Oh yes, we are going to have it. But we must also be very prudent and realistic with our spending. After this wedding, we'll have a lot more to do with money. Now, throwing money away is not one of my many talents, please. Don't be sarcastic, Charles. Don't be. You know I'm not extravagant. I'm only trying to avoid us being pennywise pound foolish. It won't happen, okay? Relax. I have discovered I will personally supervise the catering at the wedding. I, 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 will, I, will, I, will, I will look out for things. You will take care of the catering? Yes, I will take care of it. I, will, I, will, I, will, I have it wrapped around my fingers. I, I, I'll handle it, all right? I'm tired. Keep stretching and talking about this thing. I'm really tired. Can I can I get some rest, please? Yes, you can. And I'm going to my house. See you later. Do not pressure, no pressure. Do not pressure, no pressure. What about the marriage proposal? Um, I am ready now. If I can remember, I, I made that proposal a long time ago, right? Yes, you did, but don't you think that where there is love, time is inconsequential? <laughs> Exactly. You know, I've thought about this thing, and I keep asking myself, was there really love or it was just a gold digging? I, I don't understand what you're talking Come about. Come on, Joyce. I don't think you were really in love with me. Were you? Yes, because if you were really in love with me, I mean, your pastor or whoever he was wouldn't have been able to convince you otherwise. Oh, ben. Ben, it is my pastor we're talking about here. I, he was like my spiritual father, baby. You see, Joyce, I really sympathize with you. And because I still honor and respect you as a friend, I'm inviting you to this wonderful occasion. What? Getting married. Exactly. So 
So why did you tell me over the phone? Because, because you did not ask. Did you? You are wicked. Very wicked. Come on, Joyce. Listen. You are a very beautiful girl. Very beautiful and you have a lot going on for you right now. But the problem is, you seem to have not made up your mind as regards what you really want. And I will advise you. Go back and think about what you really want and go for it. Keep your stupid advice to yourself. Do not pressure, don't pressure. you, I told you, any woman her age and not married yet has a baggage. Right. Yeah, so just count that as her baggage. That's my advice. You know, I hate to say that you're right, but you're actually right. Hmm. But you know when she's not fighting and arguing and being stubborn, she's, she's actually a very sweet woman, you know, she's, yeah. she's just, I wish she can just... Huh. Ah, that's nice to You know what, Charlie? What? You've made a very good choice. Please stick to it. Yes. The only problem here is that you guys do not have the time for courtship. True. Yeah, if you had had courtship, you would have, I mean, discovered all this. But then, it's also very good that you didn't. Oh, yes. Knowing you, you would have aborted this relationship before now. Right. Oh, yeah. I got your dress. So it's all good. Yeah. yeah you can't get everything you need in one woman. 
never. Why? Yeah, so you make the best use of what you've got. Mm hmm. Bob. Yeah. How come you're this knowledgeable about marriage? I mean, where did you gather all of this experience and philosophies that you're dishing out? Excuse me. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Like, how do you know this thing? <laughs> come on, come on, shut up, man. So you think because I am not married, I do not know anything about women. How did, how did I take this decision not to marry? How, how? Oh, you tell us. Yeah, it was out of experience. I said, no, no way for me. And besides, I don't want to go through what you are going through right now. What yes. am I going through? Oh, the stress, the stress. I said, can I argue? Well, well, well. I don't have time for that. Go, go home. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you some other time. <laughs> Ah, yeah. yeah. To only I am not lonely. All respect I am not lonely. I got my big cars. I got my big house. I got my everything big, 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 big. Okay, so and big money, you know. <laughs> I am. I am cool the way I am, man. I am cool the way I am. I am not lonely. <laughs> I got my big house, big cars, big money. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know why you have refused to understand this matter, Joy. Understand what exactly, Pastor Abbey? So, I am now Pastor Abbey. No longer daddy. Ah, Biko, I'm not daddying anything again. I am not happy. We were dating before you got married. Why didn't you marry me? Why? <laughs> I, 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 I'm not good enough for you, right? Come on, Joy. Don't talk like that. You and I know why we couldn't get married. I do not know anything. The only thing I know is that you want to have me all to yourself. You want me to keep warming your bed. Yes. The same reasons you frustrated all my plans to getting married. Oh, Joy, why would you say such a scandalous thing about your man of God? A servant of the Most High God. <laughs> Have you forgotten the Bible saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm? <laughs> servant of God indeed. <laughs> my, my God. Hey, don't push me. Pastor Abby, don't push me. Because if I open this my mouth, if I open my mouth and begin to talk, this church will close down overnight. <laughs> you will not dare. You will not. I will destroy you even before you start. Hmm. You cannot threaten me anymore. I know every, every. <laughs> I know every, every. Now our church now. <laughs> now we now be here. careful about what you say. Else the fire of God will descend on you. Pastor Abby, you're still calling fire of God, eh? You see all this, your shenanigans? You cannot intimidate me with them again! I am leaving this church. And for good. If you take a step out of this church, Joy, consider yourself gone. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I really had mad fun. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mad fun. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for coming. This is Ashebi. It's Kimberly. Leave it now. I'll explain to you. Uh -huh. Three weeks. You still have three weeks uh, to make really? your dress. Yes. Like you don't know our tailors. Let me tell you a story. Mm -hmm. Do you know my my cousin now? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She went to pick up her clothes from the tailor. Only for her to be arrested by the police. Why? Arrested? Yes. Why? Huh. They said um, the tailor's point. One madam's kit. And she sent the police to arrest everybody. Are you serious? Yes. Only for them to get there. The tailor was nowhere to be found. Oh, honestly. He escaped and the police arrested everybody. Hmm. These tailors will not make heaven. No. Easy, oh. Oh. My At mother all. is a tailor. Oh, sorry, ma. <laughs> Your mother will make heaven. Of course, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so Bye. much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. I don't want to look at you on that deal. I thought you must be in front. That's it. 
before we enter the shop that day. So, what exactly do you want, Joy? If you know how you scattered my marriage plans, I want you to do the same to Amakas. I cannot be left behind. <laughs> Joy, you will not cease to amaze me. Of course, you know what you're asking for is impossible. Leave Amaka out of this. Allow her be. Amaka has been too good to you. She accommodated you for three whole years. Something a fellow man wouldn't do for you. Leave her out of this. You should be grateful, not spiteful. An ungrateful heart is a sinful heart before God. Ingratitude deters your progress. Only grateful hearts are progressive hearts. Have I not been grateful to you? Have I not? All these years you have taken advantage of me. I did not complain even for one day. Oh, would you just shut up? I don't even know what you're talking about. What is wrong with you? What haven't I done for you? Or have you suddenly forgotten how you came to this church? How you were introduced? Have you forgotten how you came from the gutters? I took you up and cleaned you up. I paid your way through school. I got a job for you without any stress. And here you are, seated in front of me and threatening me. Not just me, but my ministry. What is wrong with you? Yes. We we'll have the drinks covered, food. All drinks, water. Yeah. Speaking of the hall, that guy gave us a huge discount. Did I tell you? Yes, he did. <laughs> the souvenirs are ready, right? Mm hmm. You said um, so. MC sorted. Um, photo shoot done. Um, pretty much almost everything. Yes, done. And in less than three weeks, we're virtually done with all of this. Yep. Everything. Yes. You know, the, 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 the cooling van people promised to give us an extra cooling van. Did I tell you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So... Yeah, that's it. In three weeks, everything is over. Three weeks, baby. So we had come back down. Come back to the house. Come back where? Here now. No. Please. No. I miss you. I miss you too, but no. Please. I cannot come back. We're doing so well apart. It is the standard and tradition that intending couples will be far away from one another until they get married and they can be under one roof. Okay? So that see finish syndrome will not enter the matter. So that people will be what, you know? So this tradition is tradition by Amaka. See, me, I'm used to your tantrums and your bad mouth. So anything you say now is going to be like this. I miss you. I miss you too. Come and back. I can't stay at home. No. Come back home. Just three more weeks. Please. It's the standard and the tradition. Three weeks is far. So that you'll be fresh. We are mm. not fresh now. We are not. If I say you won't be fresh, you see finish, you enter. We will not enter, I promise you. I'll be a good boy. <laughs> it's the tradition. We must respect tradition. No. <laughs> we must respect tradition. No. I have been father, Jesus is my father. It will never ever fail me. Yeah. My invitation. VIP. Look at my invitation card. Eh? Do you know what? I am going to sit in front of the seat at Amaka's wedding. In fact, I didn't know that I was a VIP until today. <laughs> uh, uh, Sister Joy, please, you will do me a favor. If you are going to be among the people that will share food and drink, don't forget me. Remember me. Eh? My brand of drink is champagne. Ah. Ah, 
Sister Joy, uh -uh, not so fast now. Uh, I know you don't like me, uh, uh, but me, I like you. Uh, and that is why I'm praying for you. That Heavenly Father, in fact, start shouting a big amen. Heavenly Father, I call upon you today. Every devil, every demon that is causing, uh, that is stopping us from getting a future husband. Die by fire! Die by Holy Ghost thunder! Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost lightning! In fact, die by fire! Start shouting amen because God is going to answer your prayer today. Hey! I call heavenly fire! Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost thunder! Holy Ghost lightning! To stop every demon, every evil that was... Where is she? Is she a ghost? I talk him. This guy is no be ordinary. I talk him. Huh? Anyway, I have my invitation. Mm. That day, I'll be at the front seat. <laughs> Columbus, VIP. Hey, oh me. <laughs> I'm not only VIP by driving a plane. I'm a VIP sitting in front of the seat at Amaka's wedding. <laughs> oh, <that> Diego. <laughs> Good, oh, God, I'm God. What am I going to do now? I think I mean that. I told him to just be in peace. Hello? And 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 who's what who what what Anne? Sir, I used to be a street girl. I met you three years ago, and you said I'm too smart to be on the streets. And you gave me some money to buy jam from and all that things, sir. Do you remember, sir? I remember you. How were you? S sir, I took your advice, and today I'm now in the university, sir. Impressive. Okay, so um. What are, you, what are you exactly? What, what's going on with you? What, what's happening? Why are you calling me at this time? It's really late. I'm sorry, sir. Actually, I just came into the town. I'm so stranded. I came to look for my uncle, but I can't find him. And there is no money with me. Then I just remember that you stay off the same street with him. You're stranded? Um, uh, well, it's late. Um, uh, you know what? Uh... You know what? Come. Well, uh, uh, y you can come to mine. It's fine. You know, just just come, 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 come. We'll see what we can do. All right. Uh, when you get to my gate, um, let me know. I'll open up for you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate, it, sir. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Come in. Thank you. Please, this way. Uh, ah. Thanks, it's fine. How have you been? Fine, sir. That's good. I hear that um, you're now in school. Yes, sir. That's good. I got admission to the State University. Impressive. I'm studying business administration. Nice. But it has not been easy for me at all. Right, I know. It's usually not easy, but I tell you this. Once you're done with school, you'll be glad that you took that decision. Eh? <sighs> Thank you. I'm really seeing the changes in my life. Keep at it. Keep at it. You know, you know, once in a while you can call me if you need something. I'll help. 
Okay, I'll keep helping until you're done with school, get a good job. All right, I'll help. Thank you, sir. I so much appreciate it. It's fine. You need motivation. Yes. Mm? Oh. Wow. I can see you're still alone as usual. Well, I'm alone for tonight, but um, my world isn't that um, empty anymore. I, I'm hooked. <laughs> you know, I'm getting married in less than 12 days. Yes, the white wedding. Wow, it's almost here. Yes, I met someone really special. I'm happy for you, and she must be lucky to have you. Well, I am lucky to have her too. You know, I'm getting married to the most intelligent, mature, and committed lawyer. I, I'm really excited about her. Hmm. All these qualities just one person. Right. Don't be jealous. By the time you're done with school, I'm sure that some, some guy would be lucky to have you too. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, you don't look like a student to me. You look really good. You know, in our days of school, we're uh, looking very funny, looking dry and all. But look at you, putting on flesh in the right places. I've been looking at you since you stopped in. Wow, well, thank you. <laughs> stand up, stand up. Let me, let me, let me hello. Uh, this way. Uh, this way, this way. This way. Uh, you don't look bad. Huh? Why do you people get all these clothes that you buy these days? See, so you're also putting on flesh in the right places. What? Okay, that's it. <laughs> ah, whoa, 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 hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, hello? Yeah, babe, um, you okay? You what? 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 You, you are at my, at my gate? At, at the gate? Oh my goodness. Um... No, 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 no. Everything is fine. I'm, I'm okay. Um, uh, um, the, the, the gate is under lock and key. I, I'll, 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 I'll come get you right away. I. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine. You know, I was, um, <clears throat> you know, I was in the middle of something when you called. I'll, I'll, I'll be with you. Okay, babe. Yeah. Right. Oh. 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 Behind, 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 behind. Expecting that time. My MD yeah. said that he needs me to go to Potako tomorrow okay. Okay. to represent him in a, at a meeting okay. so that he can't be there. Okay. So that's why I came. Oh, okay. But, what, but, but does he not know that we're in the middle of our wedding preparations? He does. It's just that he's not in the country and he has said to me that no one else can represent him better than I would considering the fact that there'll be legal issues there. So that's why I came. Okay. Huh. Are you okay? No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just worried. You know, you, you, you're going to leave me here and, and, and run off to Potakot. It's just for one day. I stay here tonight. You take me to the airport tomorrow. I come back next day. That's it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Why are you so unsettled? Why are you... I have cramps. I... I... Cramps? Yeah, no, no, no. just uh... What's that? What? Whose phone rang? Phone? Did the phone ring?
ever trusted that Charles. Never. Not even for one day. Hey. Hmm. He was too good to be true. Hmm. You see, eh? I kept asking myself, why is this young, fine, rich man not married up until now? This is the answer. A bloody womanizer. A womanizer. Hey! Hey! Imagine carrying one's girls all over the place in less than two weeks to his marriage. Who does that? Hey! I can bet my life that he's been sleeping with those girls without condom. You're lucky. You don't know what God did for you. It's your come. Hey, hey, Charles. Charles is a womanizer. Now let me give you the shock of your life. <laughs> this one heavy for my mouth though, but I have to say it. Let me give you the shock of your life. Do you know that Charles came after me? I'm telling you the truth. I kept saying, no, no, no. At some point, he wanted to take me by force and I pushed him away. He did everything humanly possible to sleep with me. Me, sleep with Charles, my own person's boyfriend, God forbid. I didn't want to tell you all this why, because I am not a killjoy, you know? I didn't want to spoil your day. But as it is now, the wedding is no longer holding, so I had to say it out. The wedding is no longer holding. That's the reason I'm saying this. So if not, I would have just zipped my lips. Hey, Charles. Charles. You're lucky. Who knows? That guy is a walking pack of disease. Hey. You don't know what God did for you. You would have experienced the worst heartbreak ever. Hey. Thank God. Thank God the wedding is no longer holding. At least you, you can start up with someone else. Stop crying. Charles! Charles! Hey! I kept saying no, 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 no. I read. Hey! Imagine. Charles! How can you insult your new bride with such dirty girls desecrating her bed before she enters? Charles! How can you be so reckless? Uh, Charles! It was just the devil. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey! I'm sorry. Hey! Hey! This is not ordinary. It's not ordinary. Charles, tell me. What do I tell my family people? My friends? My church members? Hey! My parish priest? Tell me what will I tell them? Eh? That the wedding has been cancelled? No, no. Listen, Mama, this, this is a good. This is someone I helped from the past. I didn't do anything with her. I didn't. I didn't Come on! She was. What you gonna walk him? You never na ko eri. Eh? Kanya na chidi sivu. Omo. You na pudala. Eh? What is it? Yes, my daughter is stubborn, I know. But in this, she is 100% right. How could you, Charles? How could you? Please, let's find a way. Okay, let's, let's find a way to solve this. I mean, if, if for nothing else, I mean, we, we have well wishers, we have friends, you know, you know looking to attend this wedding. Please. Please, let, let's find a solution. I'm positive that we can resolve this. Please, uh, help me talk to my wife. Talk to who? Amaka. <coughs> You're out of your sense. You're out of your mind. I can't even reach her. Talk less of talking to her. So, what do you want me to do? I can't do anything. And that is why I'm here. To warn you, if anything happens to my daughter, if anything happens to my daughter, oh, Charles, you will see the bad side of me. I will not take it lightly with you. I'm done with you. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. 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 Wow, 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 wow. 
wow, this is this is like incredible. Uh, do you have any idea where she is now? No, I don't. I haven't. I haven't been able to speak to her for a long time. Her phones have been have been off for four days. I have tried looking for her at her mother's place. She's, she's she hasn't been there. And for, for every time I have tried going to her place, the, the, the gate man wards me off at the entrance and says that there's a strict instruction not to allow me entrance. What do I do? <laughs> Some people are destined not to get married in this lifetime. Oh, yes. Charlie, you are one of us. You are one of us. Oh. oh, how can you say that to me at a time like this? I didn't do anything with that girl. I have told you before I had... I didn't have it in mind. Look, she called me up that she was stranded and then, you know, it was five minutes and she really needed... This is someone I had helped before in the past. She just called me out of the blues and wanted help. I, I, I didn't... I, I, you know, it was a last minute sort of thing that she was stranded. I mean, what would you have me do? I just told her to come over to the house and pa I wasn't going to do anything with her. I mean, she's... We are saying the same thing. No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. How can you tell my mother to be married? Okay, since you turned out to be a Father Christmas, helping any, any stranded girl here and there, okay, why not? No, but take that back. That was quite hurtful. Take it back. Well, I'll prove it to you. Look, I, I, look I have caught... Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Charles. You, you, you came to me, okay? Just listen. Since she decided to be a Father Christmas to help out any stranded girl everywhere, why didn't you send her money to go stay in a hotel? Why your house? Well, I, 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 I didn't think of that option at the time. I, uh, I mean, I, I uh, was... Uh, I, I had to think on my feet. Uh, and I just told her to come back to her. That is the proof that you are destined to be somewhere. That's what I'm trying to let you see. Listen, I've not come here for you to ridicule me. I've come here for you to put her together with me so we can remedy this situation. There is no remedy to this situation. Join our club. No wedding. No marriage. You know they say that a friend in need is a friend indeed. Sure, that's me. What? I have your friend in need, and a friend in need. Join my club. No marriage. Bob, stop calling my phone. You're not my friend. You're not done. L sit down, Charles. Listen. To Charles, I, I, I tell you, you come back to confess. I'm telling you the truth. Leave it alone. Well, I am cool the way I am. No marriage, no stress. I can't go through this stress. Come on, yeah, um, uh, what's, what's his name again? Just like Tangerino, when you taste it, do we feel the fat inside? Whoa, oh, oh, oh. oh. Ima kwana oji Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Daddy. I'm I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. Sometimes I wish I could just end it or take my life, but I think of everyone and then... Come on, my daughter. Don't talk like that. You are a Christian. You are a child of God. The Bible is cleansed. Though weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. That's the word of God. Listen, my dear. I want you to come over to the church so that we can sit and talk. The devil is a liar. I can't. I'm too, I'm too down. I don't even want to come outside. I'm too depressed. I want to stay in my house. Listen, my daughter. You are a child of God. The Lord is your strength. Right now, I invoke the power of God into your life. Let him strengthen. Come over to the church, let us discuss. 
and I am sure we'll find a solution to this. Come. difference between we anointed men of God and those carnal men out there. I sensed it. I sensed something was going to go wrong. Of course. Something will always go wrong with men who do not believe in Christ Jesus, those who are not born again. Listen, the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says that there is a way that cement right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. What am I going to tell my family, my friends, my co-workers, my MT? What will I tell all of them? Listen, uh, Maka, this is not the time to cry. You can it's too late to cry when the head is off. The deed is already done. What are you going to do? I don't know. Will you forgive him? God forbid. I don't even want to see him near me. I don't ever want to talk to him. I don't want him to call me. I, I'm not going to... I just don't... Oh. Let me out! Who's I want to go! Please help me! Who's Let that? me out of here! Who's that? Quiet! Quiet there! Quiet there! <sighs> I cannot take it again. I cannot take it again. I want to go. Auntie, Auntie, please help me. I want to go. He has been using me as his dead slave. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The spirit of Delilah. Leave this place in the name of Jesus. You have no part here. Go out of this place now. In the name of Jesus. See who is binding Satan. Like seriously, Oga, you they buy Satan. Eh? Devil they buy Satan for your village. See, me, I don't want to gain. I want to go. You kept me here for over a week now, promising me heaven and earth, yet no show. See, Oga, I don't want to again. I beg, I won't go. I want to go. Auntie, please help me. Oh. This weekend now, he wants to kill me. Who is she? Uh, she's mentally deranged. She's one of those people who are uh, they brought here for prayers and deliverance. Deliverance kill you there! You're a very wicked man! It is your entire generation that has that have mental problem. See, Auntie, I'll tell you the truth. The truth, I will not lie to you. The truth is that I'm a wrong girl. Correct, Ashawo. Nayabi. This your wicked pastor brought me here for over a week now. He has been promising me that eh, after the end of the moon tide collection that he will take me to Dubai and buy me this and buy me that. Yet, I never see anything. There is no single day that he will not climb me up to two times. This man, see auntie, me I'm tired. I want to go. He doesn't give me any money. Yes. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, you agent of the devil. Look at you. Who do you think you are? This your smelly body, all your mates are in the university. Read it. You're here to tell you I'm prostitute. Leave this place with your smelly body. Oh. You should have said this money you want. Oh! Ha. You call my body smelly body now, Abby? Hey! It is now a smelly body. But when you were climbing me morning and night, it was a sugar body. Our you are a very, very wicked man. God will punish you. you see me, I'm tired, though. I wanted to go, but he said, eh. Hey, that if I go, that he will use Indian to draw on me eh? Eh, and make me mad. So I was scared, but right now, see, me, I, I'm, not, I'm not scared again. I want to go. See, it's better I'm mad oh, and be free. You shut up. Yahoo, Yahoo, get out of this place. You should have said this money you wanted. Mm. Take this money and get out of this yes, place. Yes, so I'll be here. Go to punish you. See, see, let me tell you. If this money is not complete, I'll come back for you. Rabaseke, the Monday. Rabaseke. Useless people. Just them. Um, 
his deliverance. For those people that he brought. Don't come here again in the name of Jesus. I come here. See, Maka, it's just one of those things we encounter as men of God. It's not, uh, Amaka, some of these cases where they don't, I bind every spirit, it's just, Amaka has been so withdrawn. Um, as it is, she may end up killing herself. Yes. By the way, what's transpired between both of you? What has happened is that this whole thing is... is over. Uh, really? You know, when I met your friend, I thought that the search for a spouse was over, but the devil played a fast one on me and your friend, and we fell for it. I knew it. I, I, I knew it. I, I knew there was something wrong. I, Amaka complained just about everything you said and did. Yes! At some point, I had to tell her as a friend that this attitude of yours was wrong. I told her myself, who carries on like that? Amaka, it is like she just invited the devil by her own hands. Amaka will never stop being stubborn, stiff and proud. I told her as a friend, I, I, I told her, I warned her about this. So. Ah, so the wedding will not hold, right? Hi, you're so caring, so loving. <laughs> Amaka, you know, like they say, you never know what you have until you lose it. If I had a man like you, eh, I will not show him more. I will love him, I will love and respect him. I wish I had a man like you. Checking on your tailor for your dress. The wedding is in one week.
Oh, 